This is Remy X2 running Lineage OS, <laughs> but this Lineage OS is way different from what you've always had. Full DAC team and it's got new firewall system. You can now decide even which app have access to your data or Wi-Fi or even VPN. Much more than that, there is gesture, lock screen gesture. There is loads of customization that you're going to begin to wonder, is this still Lineage OX? And even more than that, there is born in protection for AMOLED displays. So if you're ready, let's review this new Lineage OS by developer Hashit for Remy X2. Okay, welcome back again to Smart Deport. The new Lineage OS for September 2020 update by DevHash is so smooth. I mean, uh, the screen recording is not even going to do it the justice here right now you just you just need to feel it in real time this is so smooth and yes if is this your first time of watching our video or being to this channel kind of click on that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell icon to get more thank you you can see the scrolling here you know swiping through recent apps switching apps is just so beautiful then there is this refined ambient display once you get a new notification it just pops up and it is beautiful um, the fold works very well the fingerprint is just absolutely quick there is always on display this always on display is so beautiful it combines effectively with ambient display and fingerprint still works straight from the always on display so this is beautiful you have to go check it out there is loads of setting i mean i, I used to know lineage os for just minimalistic features but this one has got loads of setting there is pure pitch black night mode and also you can actually change that from the status bar but when it comes to the settings um let me start from the display uh the display is one of the things that is very 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 you know interesting here because there are a whole lot of things you can set there you can go back to the lineage os kind of dark mode but you can also come back to the real pitch black dark mode there is loads and loads of setting in the wallpaper i mean it's got loads of clocks as you can see different different kind of clocks and this this is not what we used to know <laughs> lineage os but thanks to the developer they've hash he's listening to a lot of requests and he's worked hard to bring in loads of features into this lineage os for realme x2 there is also that full screen for legend uh, for apps uh, legacy apps and then there is look much much more for lock screen gestures where you can actually write something for the screen to actually open the app and stuff like that and all these are just in the display there is also always on display ambient mode and these are refined very stable very i love this room i've used it for over three four days right now but i'm just loving it every day how about the new uh <laughs> firewall i mean i used to see that in maybe one or two stock room but this has been ported right now to lineage os you can stop every app either from using wireless data or even from using the vpn if you're using vpn and you don't want every app to use vpn you can all do it from the privacy setting and your firewall and you can just get it going and this is beautiful because it's system built in uh, what about the fingerprint registration it is even faster it's even better than the one i experienced in Remy ui kudos man tons of to this developer and if you can the link in the description for him if you can you can buy this guy a bottle of beer or a coffee he's doing great work just 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 look at that food it's like perfect right now okay so let's move out from that one what else there is so much of course the phone is encrypted um there is so much now let's go to system right now and let's let's check out some other tweaking there is Remy setting also where you can turn on game mode where you can turn on uh, uh you enable usb otg this enables you to save power if you turn it off then there is loads of settings here man this is this is this is lineage os <laughs> it's actually unusual it's always you know minimas minimalistic and it's always dry but here you can actually tweak a lot of things um the screen recorder you can add it to the power button desktop uh status bar a whole lot of stuff that you can tweak here you can go to the quick setting this is like three per roll uh you can change it to four per roll to have more thing in your quick settings i mean 
wow this is like wow i'm very very much impressed and then there is this the burning display burning protection for amoled screen so this means that some icon and i noticed this right now some icon moves around even in the lock screen to make sure that your screen doesn't have this burn in issues so much to tweak here on the status bar the battery there is even network indicator uh, network speed indicator there is so much to tweak here uh, if you know lineage os you know that this one is way 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 different so uh, enough of this uh, you can also actually activate the advanced uh, power set menu from the developer option and from there you can actually go straight into your recovery let's look at the battery life now why this guy is actually an improvement in the performance from the other one because this is a brand new kernel the battery life is also very good and this is like uh, 24 hours and i had seven hours screen on time and i was only throughout 4g uh, data and data was connected throughout browsing and doing other things and that is beautiful. It's a little bit uh, better than uh, Resurrection Remix, maybe about 10 minutes or thereabouts for the first, you know, 100% charge use. But the reason is that the face unlock was on and it was actually taking more power every time you turn on the screen. So let's come to Antutu Benchmark. This is the score I have from Resurrection Remix. Now let's see whether this new kernel, this new update will beat the one from Resurrection Remix, which was using Artemis kernel. So let's kickstart a new Antutu Benchmark and I'll see you at the end of the benchmark because i usually don't like okay it's a little bit short but you know i actually don't believe on all this benchmark stuff but i'm going to try it here and i'm also going to try jig bench for some of you who like benchmark to be able to see which one is better okay here right now uh rr uh, beats but whoa this guy is way better than the score of uh, resurrection remix uh, uh in jig bench so you can see the history of that uh from here it is better in the single core in fact it has the highest single core 547 and also very very good at multi-core which is about 17,700 and something so let's go into the gaming and this is where i'm going to begin to wrap it up of course gfx tools smooth and extreme and we're going to check out how good this thing can play game so forget about all those antitude score here is one of the most important place of the gaming and i can tell you that this guy is a good gamer it is smooth so smooth i'm gonna let you feel it Woo. you feel that <laughs> you feel the smoothness i mean i mean this is beautiful so this is a very good balance for for gaming and also for good battery life so remember if you're going to use face unlock it actually takes a little bit more battery especially if you always turn on your phone on so the gaming experience here is very 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 good very smooth and you are going to enjoy this when you play game and everything this rom is very very stable kudos to the developer it is very very stable it is very very sound good battery life good performance and the new calf based kernel is just beautiful so go in here go check it out and let me hear from you in the comment section if you want me to review any other rom uh for remy x2 uh what you think about this this is beautiful this is a wonderful experience and i am tempted to just stick with lineage os but you know i gotta test other roms you know to show you how it is and what it's like so let me hear from you and make sure you subscribe and i'll see you in the next video peace out